Hi, this is Priscilla with Blue Wave, and today we're talking about an interval workout that you can do on your own. You can perform this workout at your house, you can do it while you're on vacation at a hotel gym, or in the regular place where you exercise, whether that be a gym, a studio, or a box. And all you need as a piece of equipment to complete this workout is a set of dumbbells that's gonna challenge you. So before I dive into demonstrating all the movements for you, just a little note about what an interval workout is. The whole purpose of an interval workout is to oscillate between high intensity movement and recovery. And the more fit that you get, the longer that time of intensity can last versus the amount of time it takes for you to recover. And so when you dive into this workout, you wanna set some time parameters for yourself that give you time enough to get that intensity up and yet enough time to bring the heart rate down. You can track that by having a heart rate monitor if you wish, or you can just simply do an intensity check with yourself. How hard did that feel? Um, could I have gone longer? Could I have waited a little bit longer in order for that heart rate to come back down? So a couple of ways that you can watch your intensity and make sure that the time parameters are what you need. Um, I'm gonna suggest that you spend about 30 seconds doing each of these exercises and then a minute rest after the set. When we dive into it, it'll make more sense. So let's go through the different movements that you'll do for this workout. The movements are broken into couplets and that just simply means two exercises that you're gonna run back to back. And the way that I designed this workout is you're gonna do the move, first movement for 30 seconds, the second movement for 30 seconds, then you're gonna repeat that first movement for 30 seconds, the second movement for 30 seconds, and then rest a whole minute. So every set of those couplets will be three minutes. So let's go through the different movements that you're gonna do. Couplet number one involves two movements. It involves the air squat, which is simply squatting with just your body weight, nothing else. And then secondly, the push-up. So I'm gonna back up here and just show you a little bit about what that air squat should look like. You wanna keep your chest high, your knees should go out as you go down, and your heels should stay in touch with the floor. So it would look like this. If you were to see me from the side, you would notice that my hips are getting beneath my knee crease. Go to the depth that works for you, but if you can get your hips down, even better. So here are a couple more. After you perform 30 seconds of air squats, you're gonna go to the push-up. And depending on your strength level, that push-up's gonna look a little bit different. For those of you that are just starting, you may wanna do these on your knees and just go down as far as you can. For those of you that have a little bit more strength in that area, you'll wanna go on your feet and you'll wanna make sure that your chest and your hips touch the floor. So I'm gonna show you both of them. Here is the knee version. Keep your core tight. And then here is the full version on the feet. So again, you're gonna perform 30 seconds of that, alternate both, and then rest a minute. So that is couplet number one. Couplet number two involves the front lunge and the back fly. So let me go through those movements. For those of you that have knee injuries, you may wanna do a back lunge instead of a front lunge. It puts a little less pressure on the front knee, but test it out and see what you can do. Again, you're gonna go as far down as you can, but if you can touch your back knee to the floor, that's the best way to do it. So here is the front lunge. You can see that I'm alternating legs and I'm trying to get that back knee to the floor. The second exercise is the back fly and this is where you will use your dumbbells. For this movement, you just wanna make sure that you're hinging forward, which means that your shoulders and that spine are nice and flat and that the weight is not too much and it's pulling your shoulders down. You can see my back just rounded. So what we want to do is push that chest forward so that you're flat. And then from here, you're just gonna lift the arms out to the side. It looks like this.
And I just want you to squeeze the shoulder blades when you're doing this movement. So again, you would do the lunge first, then the fly, then the lunge, then the fly, and then you would rest. That is couplet two. Couplet number three involves a squat jump and an overhead press. So a squat jump is simply the air squat plus a little air under the feet. And it would look like this if you put these down. So I'm squatting to my full depth and I'm getting a little bit of air underneath my feet. It doesn't have to be super huge. Obviously the higher you jump, the higher the intensity is gonna be. So make sure that you're just watching your intensity on that. If jumping is not an option for you, you're gonna squat and then lift your heels instead of a full both feet off the ground and it would look like this. If you can see my feet, you will see that I am taking the heels off of the floor but I'm not jumping. The second movement in this couplet is the overhead press. And again, we're gonna use the dumbbells. You may wanna change the weight up depending on how strong you are pushing the weight overhead. Tight core, elbows out to the sides, and you're simply pressing all the way above the head. Repeat each of these twice, and then rest your minute. On to couplet number four. Couplet number four involves lunge jumps and the double T arm raise. So let me show you the lunge first. Same idea as your alternating front lunges, but now we're gonna add some height to it and a little bit of intensity. Again, if you are unable to jump, you wanna lift your heels up after the lunge, and even though it's not the same as jumping, it still is a little tougher than just doing the lunges, and that's what we're looking for, a movement that's a little bit, uh, a little bit tougher. Let me show you the double arm T raise. Again, it's with the dumbbells. You wanna pick a weight that's gonna be challenging. Tight core once again, so you're pulling your abs in. You're gonna come straight out and then back down. Just make sure that you're breathing through this, that you're not holding your breath a ton, and that you're able to keep your shoulders down as your arms come out to the side. Couplet number five has the bear crawl as well as the thruster, and this is the last one of the series. So once you get here, it's all out, because after this, you're finished. Let me show you the bear crawl. It is uh, a movement where you're on the floor, you're just touching your hands and feet to the floor, and you're just moving about as quickly as you can, and just cover as much distance as you can in 30 seconds. It looks like this. think that I am a light bear and that I can move pretty quickly instead of feeling like you're getting bogged down and that gravity is pulling you down. So that's the bear crawl. Do the best that you can with that. For those of you that are a little more flexible, you're going to be able to maintain that position better, but that's okay. Even if you're not, you can bend your knees to try to get those feet and hands moving. And then on to the last move, and that is the thruster. And the thruster is a front squat to an overhead press. And I'm going to use the dumbbells for this movement, and so will you. So I have my dumbbells in place right here at the shoulder. I'm gonna squat and then as I stand up, I'm gonna press that weight over my head. Just like that. that so that is the thruster and the last of the couplets. And after you finish that one, you are finished with your workout. I would love to hear how this workout goes for you. If you would leave us a comment below, you can write how much weight you used, how many reps you were able to complete in each couplet. And if there is a workout that you're interested in hearing about or a movement that you want demoed, please leave that as well. And we will certainly do a video on it. Thanks for watching and have a great workout.